The Paradise Woman's History Fact of the Day is dedicated to Sojourner Truth. Born into slavery in 1797 as Isabella Baum Free, she endured the cruelties of enslavement in the state of New York until 1827, when she walked away by daylight from her former enslaver's plantation to freedom, after he failed to uphold the New York anti-slavery law of 1827. According to NPS.gov, after experiencing a religious conversion, Isabella became an itinerant preacher and in 1843 changed her name to Sojourner Truth. During this period, she became involved in the growing anti-slavery movement and by the 1850s, she was involved in the women's rights movement as well. At the 1851 Women's Rights Convention held in Akron, Ohio, Sojourner Truth delivered what is now recognized as one of the most famous abolitionist and women's rights speeches in American history. Ain't I a woman? She continued to speak out for the rights of African Americans and women during and after the Civil War. Sojourner Truth died in Battle Creek, Michigan in 1883. Sojourner Truth's Ain't I a Woman, delivered in 1851 at the Women's Rights Convention at Old Stone Church in Akron, Ohio. Well, children, where there is so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think that twixt the Negroes of the South and the women at the North, all talking about rights, the white men will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here talking about? That man over there says that women need to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helps me into carriages or over mud puddles or gives me any best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns and no man could head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne 13 children and seen most all sold off to slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? Then they talk about this thing in the head. What's this they call it? Intellect. That's it, honey. What's that got to do with women's rights or Negroes' rights if my cup won't hold but a pint and yours holds a quart? Wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little half measure full? Then that little man in the back there, he says, women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with them. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And now they asking to do it. The man better let them. Obliged to you for hearing me. And now old Sir Jonah ain't got nothing more to say.